Hi and welcome back. Uh, the weather has been in the news in Goa because it's raining very heavily here. Uh, so a summary of what we've seen and what we can expect in the next few days. Uh, these details are from the IMD, the Indian Met Department and, and I hope you find some of them useful. We go over there. So uh, this is a press statement issued by the IMD on uh, July 6th, Thursday, July 6th, 2023. Uh, it was issued at 5.30 p.m. in the evening. Uh, and uh, the, the summary is that the monsoon was vigorous all over Goa state, vigorous in capital letters and italics. Uh, very heavy rainfall occurred at most places over the state of Goa. Uh, chief amount of rainfall in summary, uh, we are told that uh, we are getting a rain of between uh, 12 centimeters to 17 centimeters in different parts of the state. So for instance, uh, in Kankona, extreme south, it has been 17 centimeters, Panjim or Panaji, it's 16, Sangye 15, Margao, Mormugao on the coastal, south coastal stretch, 14 centimeters. Perne 13 in the extreme north, Daboli that is near the airport, Ponda, Central Goa, Mapsa the commercial town in North Goa, Ella Old Goa the old capital and Kepen 12 centimeters each. So to give you a, an idea uh, like we when we were in college we had a day where it rained for it rained 17 centimeters and we thought it was a lot because it was very wet. So, so you can imagine so today it is between 12 and 17 in different parts of the state. Uh, so some uh, summary of the rainfall, so the temperatures of course have been uh, the maximum temperature has seen a appreciable fall okay, and uh, the minimum temperature has not seen any large range, any large change sorry. So uh, yeah, that is uh, that 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 is uh, they, they give you the details elsewhere also and this is the forecast and farmers weather bulletin for 5 days valid until 11th of july so they are expecting moderate to heavy to very heavy rainfall at most places on 6th moderate to heavy rainfall very likely at most places on 7th intense spells of wind gusting up to 50 kilometers an hour very likely on 6 July and also 7 July. Light to moderate to heavy rainfall very likely at most places on 8th and light to moderate rainfall very likely at most places on 9th and 10th. So they are basically telling you that uh, things will improve on the weekend, Sunday and Monday, after Sunday. With that's not Goa and the slight variation in the south weather warnings as of 11 July. So they are they are warning uh, heavy to very heavy rainfall very likely at a few places and extremely heavy rainfall very likely at isolated places on the 6th that is today and, and it keeps varying a bit. Uh, now you know I get a bit thrown off by this uh, isolated places and few places like it's, it's, it's it does not tell you too much like so which are these few places and, and uh, how right is it how accurate is it. Most people used to criticize the IMD for getting their forecast wrong but things have improved in recent years that is my personal view and with the new equipment they have got in that uh, you know things uh, forecast have become far more accurate. Okay, so, so they are saying no large change uh, for the subsequent two days and uh, warnings to fishermen of the North Maharashtra coast and South Maharashtra and Goa coast also there are warnings of squally weather and wind speed and uh, you know from the 6th to the 8th and the 9th and the 10th and you know so basically they are saying uh, the, the sea is going to be choppy and all that. So warnings for the high seas and other coast beyond 75 kilometers. So the details are here you can stop at any point and read what you want to. Uh, port warnings for Maharashtra Goa coast are nil. But uh, 
Yeah, they are saying that continuous spells of rain with intense spells and winds gusting up to 50 kilometers an hour likely. This is on the 8th and uh, you know they are, they, are, they are telling you about the forecast in Panjim and uh, Mormugao in particular. These are, this is the capital city and the largest populated city of Goa. And then giving you the temperatures. So, temperature has been uh, minimum of 23.2 and maximum of 26.4. And uh, the rainfall in the last 24 hours on average has been 15.8 centimeters and the seasonal total is 108.118 sorry 0.3 centimeters 118.39 centimeters. So, so uh, this uh, this puts us like 9 centimeters above the normal in spite of having a very low uh, amount of rain in uh, June. So, you can imagine in, it's really been catching up and raining heavy in July and the end of June also. So, they are talking about humidity here like uh, it's been 98 percent uh, humidity which is a lot like imagine uh, 98 at Mormugao, it's it's like you know very heavy humidity. So uh, humidity is 98 percent, and uh, it's 9 percent above the normal. So that that really chews up your electronic devices. So please take care if you have any cameras, uh, computers, smartphones. You know humidity is really affecting them badly. And uh, yeah, details details are on this. Uh, website also they are encouraging you the IMD is encouraging you to download their Mausam app kindly download the Mausam app for location specific forecast and warning Megdoot app for agromet advisory and Damini app for lightning so they have three apps Mausam, Megdoot and Damini Mausam is location specific weather forecast and warnings Megdoot is agromet advisory I think agri agriculture related and Damini is only for light lightning so, yeah. So, with that, uh, we will wind up here for today. Uh, the, the, the rain is uh, like you know, the pattern I can discern as a lay person. It rains uh, very heavily for about 15 30 minutes, or maybe sometimes a bit more, and with gust, when especially when the rain is setting in, and then. Uh, after that you could have a dry spell for 3 to 4 hours like now it's it's dry like at uh, 7.40 in the evening it's dry and temporarily dry till the next spell comes along. So stay in touch, we will update.